he entered the building. This was a targeted attack on the Capitol Gazette. The most blunt assessment yet of a terrifying mass shooting at a local Maryland newspaper. Several shots have been fired. Five people were killed, at least three others injured at the hands of a suspect identified by multiple law enforcement sources as 38-year-old Jared Ramos, a Maryland resident with a known history with the Capital Gazette newspaper, a history that is spelled out in detail on his profile page with photo scans of court documents and contentious email exchanges with newspaper employees. This person was prepared today to come in. This person was prepared to shoot people. His intent was to cause harm. Law enforcement officials say Ramos was armed with a shotgun and smoke grenades. I saw a, a young woman who looked like she'd been hurt. An eyewitness describes the moment Ramos entered the building. I saw a guy holding a gun. Uh, the door of the Capitol Gazette had been blown to pieces. It was in shattered pieces all on the carpet. And this guy was holding what looked like a big shotgun and, and moving uh, across the entrance of the Capitol Gazette office, pointing the gun deeper into the office like he was uh, targeting people. Police say the response was fast, about 60 seconds. Stand by, we may have suspect in custody. Hey, Sheriff Ken Andrew, we have every he's inside the uh, Gazette office, the main office where all the victims were, we got it. Ramos was taken into custody with no other shots fired. When we came down the elevator, as soon as the doors opened, the cops swarmed the elevator and told us, you know, get on the ground, put your hands up, and they searched us, and then they immediately rushed us out the building. Well, it was scary. I mean, you know, you open up, right, you open up the door, and there's guys with guns pointing at you, so, yeah, it was, it was yeah. a little scary. We now know that one of the five people who was killed is Rob Hyacin. He was a columnist and assistant editor at the Capitol Gazette newspaper. Police are still making notifications to the four other families, and we have the injured who are being treated at area hospitals.